Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 8 Let's Play where guys today as usual We've got all kinds of stuff. We got to get going. Okay, the laboratory is not doing anything uh, We've also got five builders available and I've got two achievements. So hey, you know what free gems, right? So 5,000 points now in season challenges, so I get 50 free gems there and then uh, this one's another 50, but it's destroying a single expo. Now that that is a valuable destruction of a defense right there, getting 50 free gems. So there we go, guys. Uh, that was kind of like the nice, exciting intro. Now let's go in and do the exciting attacks, and then we'll do the exciting upgrades, and it's just all exciting, right? I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos. Ring that bell and use code Klaus. Hey family, I am back on Game On and still making exclusive content over there for Clash of Clans as well. So go check it out. There's a link in the description. Now we're still using Barge, okay? Because I've got a few more um, Elixir upgrades that really need to get done. So once we're pretty close to done with all that, then we're going to be moving on and uh, changing it up a little bit. So it's going to be really fun. But check out this base, guys. Now, I haven't had the best luck against bases like this, okay? Uh, bases like this can generally confound my barge. But uh, there's a lot of loot on the outside, so I think it'll be worth the... It'll be it'll be worth trying. I've also got some balloons in the CC, so that'll be awesome. Because I might be able to get a few uh, of these defenses down. We might be able to get the Dark Elixir out of the storage. So let's go ahead and send in the infantry. Yes, send in the infantry. Barbarians, archers, take the loot. Take it all away. Loot all day. Yes, I rhymed and I didn't do it on purpose. So I guess I'm a, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I don't know. Uh, I definitely didn't know it because I, you know, that would be weird if you, if you knew that type of thing. But there we go, guys. So, uh, Bart, or, oh, I'm sorry, Barbarian King kind of deployed over here on the right hand side. I've got some heal spells on these balloons. I'm trying to just hope that I can get some of these, you know, these uh, essential defenses down. I want to take out that Dark Elixir storage, though. Um, it's not looking like it's going to happen. Uh, let me go ahead and just drop another heal over here. Um,. Yeah, this is this is not looking very good. I mean, okay, so there's the king's ability right there. If we, if we could break through, it's just it's this mortar right here. This mortar's ruining everything because hopefully he stays focused on the king. And he's oh look at these archers! Look at these archers! Get that dark elixir, archers! Yeah, good job, buddies! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we may not build. Oh, don't get distracted. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, dark elixir. Now um, it's okay if we don't get the town hall. I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, what the heck? See, see what I'm saying? <laughs> The stupid mortar! <laughs> Alright, well, that's okay, I guess. Uh, looks like we got a, a single set of archers, and they could technically... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm actually gonna wait, because check this out, guys. We have uh, archers. If they get through this wall, they should be able to get this elixir storage without any problems. And if they do, then uh, that's gonna be an extra, like, 100,000 elixir or something like that. If I had to make a guess, I would say there's probably 110,000 dark el uh, elixir in this storage. So let's see. Let's let's see. Let's see if I'm correct. Okay, a little bit of patience will go a long way here. Uh, we may in fact max out my elixir storage or get very, very extremely close. Uh, so let's just wait and see what happens here. Um, right now, okay, so we yeah, so we we can hold 4.25 million elixir. Okay. And um, remember there was 160,000 elixir left on in this base, right? So if we have 50,000 left, that means I was correct in assuming that there was 110,000 sitting in this storage. So this is kind of one of those fun moments, right? You can like test your your guessing skills or your educated guess skills and uh, and see if you, you know, if you actually understand this game or if you're completely caught off guard and lost like I usually am. But you never know, right? You never know. So let's see here, guys. Ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Yeah, check it out, guys. 50,000 gold or 50,000 elixir still standing, which means that storage did in fact have 110,000 elixir. That was awesome. That was awesome. And this base had a ton of loot. Look at this. I mean, uh, 750,000 gold, almost that much in elixir, and over 2,000 dark elixir. I mean, that's crazy, y'all. That's absolutely amazing. All right, there we go. So uh, I've got loads of loot. I might as well spend a little bit before I go do. A raid, so I'm gonna request for some CC troops in the meantime, and obviously we got to start looking at well elixir buildings, I guess first, right? So I've got uh, dark barracks. You know what? I think I'm ready to start doing some dark barracks upgrades, and since I don't use them, I'm gonna upgrade them both simultaneously. I won't be able to get dark elixir troops for 18 hours, but that's okay. That's not that big 
of a deal, okay? Uh, so let's do this. 900,000 elixir, 18 hour upgrade, three, two, one, bam, three, two, one, bam. And of course, we know that the dark barracks get two upgrades at Town Hall 8, so they're gonna stay right there. Okay, so while we wait and see if I get a clan castle, donate. Oh, you know what? I should do some gold upgrades too, shouldn't I? Um, can I do... Okay, that's way too many. Um, can I do like half of these? 2.7 million gold, that's perfect. There we go. All right, so I've spent some gold, trying to get this wall to go back to where it's supposed to be. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see if I get a clan castle donation and go check out what's going on with builder base. Remember guys, we maxed out the battle machine, so now I want to finish the storages, right? I need to finish off the gold storages, which means I'm gonna need more elixir to do that. Once the storages are done, then we'll move on and we'll do the, uh, the builder hall. So let's go get a raid in the books, right? Let's go see if we can actually get some loot. And it's gonna be good because, you know, it just, it's always good. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to explain, it's always good, right? Um, and uh, guard post troops are gonna be a big problem here, I think, because they are pretty far into the base. Fortunately, though, the air bomb's on the opposite side, so I think we might get out alive. I don't know, we'll see. Um, trying to watch, there we go, yes. Yeah, so we gotta make sure we supplement these, uh, these locations that are losing their baby dragons as quickly as possible. We definitely want to be able to focus on this air bomb here soon. So let's wait until that one goes down. There we go. And, oh, that was it. Okay, I've got no more left. Fantastic. Um, so Battle Machine, get in there, buddy. Um, I want you to take out this multi-mortar and start working your way exactly toward this builder hall, uh, which shouldn't take too much. I mean, I've only got like two point down. I might actually three star this here. There's a chance. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's the ability and he should go toward the Firecracker that time. So that'll go down and then, oh, now he's gonna step up to a crusher and I don't have a, an ability for a while. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right there. Take it out. 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 Hurry. 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 Yes. Okay. Air bomb's gonna go down. This uh, archer tower, I don't think this archer tower has what it takes to take it down, him down by itself. So um, we're, we're gonna wait. We're gonna see what happens here. This double cannon may be a problem. I'm just gonna pop the ability as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully he steps out of the range while he's dealing with the crusher. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, it's game over. 95% two star, y'all. That was crazy. Man. All right, so 95% two star. Let's see if we actually won that. No, they three star. Blast, bro. Blast. Okay, well, it's okay. Um, that's all right, because honestly, I mean, I'm kind of waiting. I've got a, a day and a half until the uh, guard post upgrade here is done. So in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to get elixir, get those storages done, and then move on to the next builder hall upgrade. And I did not get a clan castle donation. That's totally fine. Oh, I forgot the, the, you know, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I got something I got to do. I got something I got to do. Um, yeah, I, I had some short, like little short upgrades I'm gonna go ahead and do. These are five minute storage upgrades. I saw them last episode and decided they desperately needed to be done. What else is really, really short? I think this Archer Tower upgrade, oh, it's 15 minutes. I mean, that's that's short, but that's not like super duper ridiculously short. Um, and I still have one more defense that we need to get today too. That's gonna be a top priority, okay? But yeah, I, I knew I wanted to do at least one short upgrade today before the end of the video, before the like the final round of defense upgrades. So there's that right there. Okay, so let's go do another bar trade, no CC this time, and uh, see what we can accomplish. I'll be right back guys once I find that perfect base, and we're gonna, we're gonna wreck it. Of course we have no, no CC and no king, so it's gonna be a challenge. Or I can leave in that awkward silence and we can attack this base. It's, it always works out that way guys, where I'm totally ready to do, like, like enter the the next button clicking phase of the video for the next five ten minutes and then and then I find the base at the perfect time oh it's great all right anyway let's go let's do this I'm gonna smack this base it's a dead town all eight uh, I'm thinking prioritizing elixir because also the dark elixir is on this side as well I don't expect to uh, get the dark elixir but you never know you know if, if we get lucky that would be pretty sweet so as soon as the bomb tower goes down there we go all right so barbarians. And then archers. Remember guys, if you want to take out that bomb tower, the best thing that you can do is just two groups, barbarians and then two groups of archers behind. You can only hit one group at a time and you're guaranteed to hit, to take it out. So, all right, so there's the, barbar the barbarians, there are the archers. Uh, there is an open uh, door basically toward that mortar. So I'm gonna drop a heal spell now because we do have another set of barbar er, of uh, mortars on this side too. I've got a poison spell ready. So if this king decides he wants to step up and ruin things, that's fine. But uh, we do have this dark elixir 
storage that we want to take out too and it looks like ooh okay so these mortars were able to one shot the archers that's not cool man i mean they're upgraded archers there's nothing else i could do about it but man that's really annoying um all right one more heal come on come on come on you get you guys stay alive take out the town hall i think the town hall is the rest of the dark elixir in it uh, as well so that's totally fine um gold over here i don't know if we're gonna have what it takes to grab that and i've already used up all my heal spells so those troops will definitely go down they were on life support right there guys i mean they were like absolutely depending on those heal spells to survive unfortunately uh we didn't three star but you know what it's all good look at this archer or there's is there two of them there? no there's only one yeah okay look at this one archer dude working a, it's very hardest on that gold storage that's absolutely amazing good job archer good job I don't know if there's if it's really worth it. It's only like what 100 gold per shot, 103. It's 103 gold per shot. <laughs> but I'm not going to argue because hey, you know what? Every little bit helps. Plus, I'm wondering actually if if she goes to the right, she might have even be able to. No, okay, the cannon, the cannon didn't like that much. Unfortunately, good try though. Good try. Good try. All right, though, that was a lot of gold again, and over 20 whatever hundred dark elixir. So that was pretty good. And then thank you for the balloons. Fido, Fido, whatever. Uh, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, so now, guys, uh, we got a minute and a half before these storage upgrades are done. So let's talk about the laboratory in the meantime. So obviously, I mean, obviously, guys, we're going to be swapping or, or switching over to a different army pretty soon. Whether it's going to be dragons or whether it's going to be like a Jibart strategy or maybe it's going to be a, a hog based strategy. I don't know. It, it kind of depends. Oh, and obviously we have to upgrade these spells too. So lots of good stuff needs to be done. In fact, you know what? For an ode to Town Hall 7, okay? Because Town Hall 7, that's really when the game got interesting, right? Uh, I think we should upgrade these dragons. Uh, it's only a three-day upgrade, so it's definitely not going to you know break the bank or anything. It's still only 2.5 million elixir. But uh, I think that getting the dragons would be really cool because then... I feel like we'll be able to do a few dragon raids after we finish with our elixir demands and just have some fun with it and really experience the difference between a Town Hall 8 dragon and a Town Hall 7 dragon, which we just did not too long ago in a Town Hall 7 Let's Play. So let's upgrade the dragons, guys. This is a three-day upgrade, and it's a 2.5 million elixir upgrade. Uh, we have plenty of loot. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, and now I'm pretty much broke with the elixir, but I think I've got some loot in the treasury. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that and see what I've got left. Okay, so i got a decent amount of elixir still left. I have plenty of dark elixir to upgrade the king to level 7. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and do this. 14 day or 14 hour upgrade, which would be, what, 6 a.m. roughly for me. So yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, 12,000 dark elixir. 3, 2, 1, bam. Okay, so uh, that was perfect time. We'll go to that storage. It's got 12 seconds left, or this one did. So what do we need to do next? I'm thinking about a drill, and I'm thinking about a, a barracks, but I can't afford the barracks unless I've got to have some loot sitting around somewhere, right? Got to have some loot sitting around somewhere. Some free elixir, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Nice. All right. I like that. So I get some free loot now. So these dark barracks are working. I'm going to work on this barracks. It's going to be 1.5 million elixir to get those P.E.K.K.A. a little bit quicker. So let's do that in three, two, one. Bam. And of course, this guy goes over here. Okay. And then can I afford to upgrade this dark elixir drill? I cannot, but it's so close. Wow. It is so close. Could I? Is there anything I could do to get... The elixir. Look at that. I only need 18. Okay, let me, let me just see here. 30 gems. 30 gems. Are you kidding me right now? It wants me to spend 30 gems on 17,000 elixir? That's insanity, dude. No way. This game is so cheap. <laughs> Alright, and look at that. I, I collected my uh, elixir collections that I did before the video started, and I already like started closing the gap on that. Okay, well, um, if I could maybe... Uh... I might just do some- Oh, I forgot! Okay, yeah, definitely. So, um, I'm not gonna worry about the Dark Elixir Drill, because I've got one more defense that I need to get, okay? I almost forgot, but I didn't, okay? So we're gonna get this Tesla. But before we do, I'm gonna spend the rest of my gold on the rest of the walls, because, you know, I don't wanna be sitting around with, with full storages. So let's do this, guys. Three, two, one. Bam. Okay, and that'll work, and, uh, this one I believe was 300,000, so that leaves me a little bit left over. That's totally cool. So let's put this guy over here. And um, I'm actually going to move that sweeper out of the way and, and reorganize this real quick. But let's get this last new defense. And we're finally a complete Town Hall 8 after today, after right now, in 3, 2, 1, bam. 
There we go, guys. Let's move this sweeper out of the way. Let's move this Tesla. And I'm actually going to uh, shift all of these up three clicks so that this wizard tower can go here. And then uh, the sweeper can just hang out near the air defense. There we go. So that's a little bit more organized. It looks a little bit prettier. That is awesome. So guys, we got a lot of great things going today. Dragons, uh, two dark barracks, the king. That's amazing. And other barracks as well. We are closing the gap on the elixir side of things. All we have left is one more barracks, a dark elixir drill, the rest of the gold mines, and then that new gold storage. And then that's it for elixir upgrades besides whatever's in the lab. So it's a great time to transition to a, a new heavy elixir army like dragons and really just have some fun with it. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Tunnel 7 Let's Play. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you guys can actually see when videos go live don't forget also to use code klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game remember a small percentage of the purchase goes to the content creator you guys decide to support through their code so if you guys decide to support me thank you so much use code klaus there's a link in the description to input the code automatically but remember though that the code does expire after seven days so you do have to continue to include or input the code or use the link mine has expired so i'm going to do it manually so go into your settings more settings, scroll down to the bottom and under creator boost to enter code and code Klaus. And remember that it works in every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. So something to consider if you guys play any of those and decide to buy something. Thank you all so much for your support. Remember that I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.